Hello everyone. Welcome to a new video. I'm using the robot voice because today we'll get a little more talkative. I needed to let some of my K-pop random opinions out and I know YouTube subscribers usually love to watch this kind of videos. They're not exactly unpopular opinions and they're not one sentenced. Some of them will need a bit of an explanation, some of them won't. It's gonna be a stream of consciousness. Don't forget these are my opinions, they're things I think with my mind, from my point of view. You could totally disagree with me, just don't be rude and politely tell me why in the comments. As always, don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe in order to support the channel and to never miss the content I post. Also, follow me on Instagram clicking on the link in the description. With all of this said, let's spill the tea and get this off my chest. Enjoy. Main vocalist doesn't mean they have to be able to hit high notes. Main vocalist is a position for idols with the best technique in the group. A good example is Ji Hyun from NCT127 who has the position but has a rather deep range. You wouldn't think he's a main vocalist because we're used to think they are the ones who can go higher but that's not the case. This brings me to the next opinion. We have to consider not every idol has the same vocal range. For example, during survival shows, especially covers, the key of the original song is hardly ever changed to be adapted to the contestants. This brings some of them to struggle and be considered bad vocalists. Also, voice cracks are not that big of a deal. Survival shows tend to highlight them as bad but the trainees can't really control that. They often happen on the passage between chest voice and head voice. Developed vocalists can mix the two very well but if they can't it doesn't mean they're bad. This passage between chest and head voice is at a different pitch for every single person so some will have a harder time with a note in comparison to others but, again, it doesn't mean they're worse. They just have a different vocal range or voice print and probably they're not perfectly trained. I don't know where the hate for Beautiful Monster by Stacy came from. The song is close to a masterpiece, the vibe is immaculate, the chorus is perfect and it hits me right in the feels with the melodies. It's easily better than the majority of their title tracks and I don't know what you wanted from them but calling this uninteresting or boring is a problem. I hope you got what you wanted with Teddy Bear I don't even know. Purple Kiss is made for a darker and more sophisticated and elegant concept, meaning both visually and musically. Pone's Onya and Sweet Juice are their best title tracks. Zombie was cute but only because it was catchy and nerdy was fine for a couple of days. Careful, I said darker but not duffer. Mimem was not it at all and I hope they continue in this way. I truly enjoyed their latest comeback. Mnet is pushing the right contestants for Boys Planet. I can't speak for other survival shows but that's my take on this one. Every trainee they highlight in every episode is the right one to focus on and I realized with the first mission. They understood the mistakes of not showing the demo stages of Zihao and Kong for example, and truly gave them space in the third episode. Yes, they do care about K-Group a lot but I feel like they let talented people shine. Evil editing is still among us anyways. Kepler's music management is confusing. All their songs have been filled with chanting and childish lyrics and vocal tones, catchy but maybe not exactly fitting for the girls. Especially with We Fresh, which, don't get me wrong, I loved. They had very mature looks but it didn't match with the song. I do think they would have fit an elegant concept more. Following is one style, for example, would have been a great choice. Or also the mask vibe was spot on. Yes, Eugene said she didn't want to do girl crush but it doesn't mean screaming wadada until we're 30 years old. I wish girls on top had other units like SM said they would. But honestly I suppose they realize the girls work very well together and will continue as got the beat. It's funny that SM will say whatever and forget about it later. The super group works but it could be refreshing exploring other combinations. I'm not that sure about Hikaru joining XG. It really looks like a solid and complete group and an addition is not needed in my eyes. Maybe it will end up as the Yenna joining Everglow thing and she will go somewhere else. Yes she fits the vibe they're going for but I can't seem to picture her in the group whatsoever. After Love Song I Know I Love You, DXD has seen a low moment in their career, not necessarily in music as in popularity. I feel like especially Good Boy Gone Bad didn't really resonate in the K-pop industry. People were claiming a shift from the edgy boys concept, that apparently is appreciated only if it lasts one comeback, and it seems they were pleased. Sugar Rush Ride is what DXT needed and it's also one of their best. Jong Ho from Mateys and Lily from NMIX are the best vocalists of fourth generation. I don't think there's much to explain. They are. I'm sorry to everyone with a good taste but AO by NCT127 fell a little flat for me. Sticker and two baddies were much more appealing to my taste, the experimentalist mess hit hard and yes I love the whistling. I don't really know why Hybe decided to go so far from the original plot with Enhypen. 
Don't get me wrong, I am among those who love their recent releases, but how nice would it be to hear something similar to Given Taken or Drunk Dazed? Yes Dame Dashed was a little plain but that didn't mean the possibility of staying into a fresher tone had run out. Past the Mic was literally a hip-hop song I mean yes let's explore different genres but why the tough guy trope? Vampires were cool. P1 Harmony should be big at this point but you just wouldn't let them they haven't missed once and they deserve to be praised more. I'll leave it here. Go listen to their music. Key is releasing the best solo music from SM currently. Sulgi was a good rival cause her mini album snapped but Key has been doing the most for a couple years now. Killer just came out and it's a song of the year for me. I love him. You're absolutely way too dramatic about Blackpink's tour performances. They're the most westernized artists of K-pop, we know it, I know it. You know it, and that includes the fact that their concerts tend to be pretty chill. As long as they have fun on stage, what's wrong with not doing choreographies perfectly or with super intense body presence? Like just enjoy the music. You're seeing Blackpink, I really wouldn't care about their dancing energy being at 50%, you all just love to complain. If you're a fan you should support them.